Hi there. In this video, we are going to explore how you can get the most from NetSuite's customer service and support functionality for businesses that sell online. However, the insights offered here could also be great for any business that has to work through queries on a regular basis. NetSuite offers great functionality for customer service that is often underappreciated in a world of email queries. Using NetSuite for customer service means the support rep can make the most of a fully integrated system to see live information ready to be fed back to customers. The NetSuite system gives a user access to inclusive customer records, real-time order management information and access to the full product database. And when your support reps are supporting customers, NetSuite offers the ability for them to track their time offering a great opportunity to report on efficiencies and customers that require more attention. Not only that, when support is offered as a service, NetSuite allows the rep to track billable time that can be automatically invoiced to the customer. One of the most difficult things to deal with in retail is the variation in support queries a business may receive. It's fairly ambitious to anticipate that an employee can deal with anything sent towards them. And for that reason, NetSuite's ability to direct queries based on rules and origin means cases can be associated with people who have the specialist knowledge and capabilities to deal with them. When considering implementing customer service in your NetSuite system, it is important to assess how you currently deal with queries, review the customer service processes, and begin to think about how they will align to NetSuite. But to start with in NetSuite, we will just point you in the direction of how to enable support and where to access the support preferences. This should help you get a basic grasp of the functionality on offer and appreciate what aspects may be best fit for your business. The place to start is Setup, Company, Enable Features, there, under the CRM tab, you will find the different support options with customer support and service, the base level you need to get started. To access support preferences, the user can go to Setup Support, Setup Support and be presented with the basic preferences. We would recommend thinking about notifications to ensure NetSuite users are always emailed regarding new cases and case changes. For more advanced features such as the external case form and inbound email setup, we would recommend contacting your administrator or a NetSuite partner such as ourselves. We will however be discussing the functionality of those features a little later on. Support groups are set up in the same manner you might set up customer groups for marketing. New members can be added to them all the time and they are even able to share the same work calendar. So, let's say in this example, we want our more experienced tech guys to be in one group and so set up a technical questions group. This same page is also where you can add in any employees set up as support reps. Once set up, we can start thinking about how cases are distinguished and how we can group them. Defining cases within a set of parameters as much as possible is the best way to make sure any user accessing the case is best placed to deal with it, whilst also helping with reporting when you wish to see what bottlenecks a case resolution. Firstly, the case origin type is simply a way of identifying where the query came from. As default, NetSuite allows the selection of web, email, phone and other. This will probably be fine for most retailers, but if there is another source particularly suited towards your business, in store, for example, that can be added easily. Adding an origin is a simple case of selecting the item from the drop-down list but NetSuite is also capable of automatically adding origins to email and web queries. 
The case type is used to classify the type of query received. This is where customization can really benefit when it comes to e-commerce. NetSuite allows the selection of question, concern or problem. However, it's hard to say how helpful those would be when directing queries to employees. Instead, we recommend to our clients that they specify their own types that better suits their business. And to go one step further, it makes sense to relate these to the support groups and vice versa. So we may wish to use types like technical question, product fault or return query. This helps to promote consistency in responses as you can template against types, but also to help support reps identify what to expect from a case quickly and easily. These types can be automatically set for web queries through NetSuite or by adopting various email usernames. The case status is how a user can define at what stage of resolution a case is or if it is closed. These are a great filter for viewing cases that need responses or indeed hiding and ignoring those that don't. The NetSuite standard in this case should be fine and case statuses also act as a great tool for reporting on the efficiency of the case resolution process. The case priority is simply how urgent the case is. NetSuite selections of high, medium and low should be enough unless you want to add a nuclear option for the most important customers. Using priorities will allow the user to filter cases and view those in most desperate need for attention, while the list of open cases will highlight the most important by default. So next, we will consider how you can direct incoming queries into NetSuite and the support channels you've defined. Rules and territories are the way in which NetSuite decides what goes where and why when it comes to cases. Rules act like criteria on queries, filtering them down based on the type of case they are or their origin into smaller groups of queries. You can then apply these rules to territories. Territories act as the parent to rules and support groups. When rules are applied to a territory, any queries meeting that criteria belong to the territory. When the territory has support groups within it, it then means that any queries in the same territory are associated within the support group. An example could be, if a company looks for products in a query title, the territory forwards any cases for that product to the support group that specializes in those products. It's also worth noting that users can be assigned and reassigned to cases for those times where you want to distribute cases to individuals. This might be when staff know exactly who is suited for a task, to share some workload or to redistribute cases stagnating in the list. The next step is to think about how you get queries from customers into NetSuite. For website and email queries, there are great options to automate this process. For the web, NetSuite offers the ability to utilize online case forms. These can be placed within your web store and are a fantastic way to make the customer do some of the legwork for you. By thinking about fields you'd like to incorporate, you can begin to tailor customer queries to your system. For example, you can offer the user the ability to enter their own order number, attaching the order to the case when it opens in NetSuite, or give a drop down of the case types we mentioned earlier to help direct the query to the best support group. NetSuite offers their default case form, but it is also possible to use your own custom HTML form using NetSuite tags. To send email queries straight into NetSuite, you will need to enable the email case capture functionality. This will automatically convert support message cases 
and apply any rules applicable. You could route one email by activating forwarding in your account and setting the case capture up in support preferences. If you use email usernames like support or technical, however, these can be routed directly to the appropriate support group. Once support is implemented into your system, making the best use of your dashboard and reports is a great way to streamline the processes and assess your performance. As standard, NetSuite allows you to view reports on aspects like response times, close times, first reply resolution rates, how often cases are getting escalated and how support reps are performing. These are accessed under the customer service reports and can be a great way to identify any issues that are a real stumbling blocks and keep cropping up or to assess which support reps can handle more cases in their workload. But once again, with a few custom reports, you can really make NetSuite work for your business. For your own roles and support groups, you can report on the case activity by each department to assess how well they're dealing with cases or to act as case reports that help support reps quickly identify the most urgent cases or those that have been in the system a long time. And when it comes to accessing support functionality, it makes sense to make it as easy and apparent for support reps as possible. The dashboard is essentially NetSuite's homepage and a great place to offer shortcuts to support tasks or reports that act as a window into cases. Simple things like quick add case mean a support rep on the phone can quickly enter and save key information whilst on the phone without having to slow the customer down. A quick look around our custom dashboard shows how KPI on cases can be displayed to push on performance that month while a list of the current open cases can be brought straight to the first screen the support rep sees. And that concludes our look into NetSuite support capabilities and the possibilities a bit of customization can bring to it for retail e-commerce. At Keystone Data, we are able to offer training webinars to help you implement your own optimized support system within NetSuite in an easy to follow and interactive format. Alternatively, NetSuite partners like ourselves are able to implement customer service for your enterprise to help take full advantage of NetSuite's integrated system. So a big thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other blogs and guides at keystonedata.co.uk.